Han is a uniquely Korean concept that even Koreans have a hard time defining. It's considered impossible to translate into English, but I'm going to try anyway. Han is often described as an internalized feeling of deep sorrow, injustice, resentment, regret, and anger. Some people describe it as Korean rage, but I've discovered it encompasses many more emotions. Han is a response to Korea's long history of suffering. It's repeated invasion and oppression by foreign powers like the Japanese occupation and the Korean War. Some believe it runs in the blood of all Koreans and permeates Korean society, including pop culture. Everything from films and books to music and TV shows. Now in no particular order, here are five examples of Han in Korean pop culture. Number five, Pansori. Pansori is a type of traditional performance art that originated in 17th century Korea. It can last anywhere between three to eight hours. A single performer, accompanied by a drummer, uses rhythmic chanting and singing to tell epic tales of love, loss, and pain. Number four, the slave hunters. Called Shuno in Korean, The Slave Hunters is a television series set in the historic period known as the Joseon Dynasty. It is about a nobleman turned bounty hunter's thirst for revenge after a slave burns down his house, killing his family, and running away with the woman he loves. Number three, peppermint candy. <laughs> peppermint candy, or Pakasatang in Korean, is an iconic film by director Yi Chang-dong. It opens with the protagonist's suicide. He stands in the path of an oncoming train and screams, I want to go back! And from there, the film goes back in time, unfolding all the traumatic events in his life that led him to the train tracks. And number two, Mother. Another movie, director Bong Joon-ho's mother is a haunting thriller about a man accused of a heinous crime and his mother's mission to prove his innocence at all costs. The film came out in 2009 and it's already a classic. And finally, Arirang. Arirang is a folk song that's been loved and sung by Koreans for generations. It's often considered the country's unofficial national anthem. There are thousands of variations with regional differences in style, rhythm, and lyrics. But all of them evoke feelings of longing and sadness. Those are five examples of Han in Korean pop culture. And as you can probably tell, it's pretty intense. If you can think of any you'd add to the list, let us know in the comments. Annyeong! Uh -huh.